welcome to the last Comic-Con 2016 coverage video on Marshall Monkey. Yes, the last one! Oh no! Oh, I'm so upset about it, but yeah, it's the last Comic-Con, uh, let me adjust this real quick, uh, last Comic-Con video for this year. Oh, yes. There's so many other things that I could do for Comic-Con videos, though, but, uh, this is the last day for Comic-Con, and I don't want to be doing Comic-Con videos after Comic-Con's been over. Uh, I try to do all my videos for Comic-Con within Comic-Con, uh, so that way my schedule for other videos don't, uh, doesn't get lost. Uh, I still have tons of other videos to do. I'm gonna do an early Girl Meets World review so I can get that out of the way, and then I'm gonna catch up with Stuck in the Middle reviews for all of you guys and all that stuff, so thank you for being patient while I go through Comic-Con, which was, which has been so good. Oh, I've loved Comic-Con this year. But let's, let, okay, so we're after all the updates, right? So we're done with all those, but let's be honest here. DC won Comic-Con, by far. Uh, or I guess you can't say DC, I, I actually wanna say Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers won Comic-Con, by far. We have Justice League trailer, Wonder Woman trailer, uh, Kong Skull Island trailer, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them trailer, the Lego Batman movie trailer. So we have so many trailers and so many details and so many new things. Uh, Warner Brothers Television has uh, Supergirl uh, in that. Uh, they gave some new details, I'm guessing, about Superman. They were talking about it a little bit, because I think uh, Tyler, who plays Superman, was there with them. Uh, Legend Tomorrow Season 2 trailer, Arrow Season 5 trailer, and The Flash Season 3 trailer. Oh, and Gotham Season 3 trailer. So Warner Brothers, across the board, has done so well uh, with not only movies, but also TV. Uh, so I have to give them props that they've won this. Uh, Marvel had a good thing going with the Netflix shows with the Defenders, Iron Fist, um, and Daredevil, Luke Cage, all that stuff. They, you know, they, they did all that. Um, and they were pretty good with that Doctor Strange trailer. Like I said, not really great, but it was pretty great. Uh, but unfortunately, they had two other trailers that could have dominated and beat Warner Brothers out for sure. Possibly. Uh, and they didn't take the chance. What? I know, Marvel didn't jump on it. And I think that Marvel shouldn't come to Comic-Con next year, because not only do they have D23 for Disney, which is Marvel, uh, and they also have, whenever they release, you know, whenever they talk about the new phase, like, uh, whenever Phase 5 comes out, Marvel will be like, oh, Phase 5, uh, press, uh, event. You know when they do those, and they announce every movie on the phase, and they do all the new logos and stuff, you know those? Uh, they, they did it for fa uh, Phase 3 and all that. They did it for all, I think, every phase, really. Uh, maybe not phase one, but I know for phase three, for sure, um, where they just have everybody there, and, uh, Kevin Feige talks about every movie. Well, they have those as well, where they, uh, I think they showed off footage, maybe on one of those, maybe not, I don't think so, but they do logos there, and at D23, they showed Doctor Strange footage, uh, this year, I believe. So if they have those two events, they don't really need to go to Comic-Con. I feel like they just go to Comic-Con just because they are Marvel, and they have to. Like, they, they're a comic book studio, so they have to go to Comic-Con. So I feel like that's the reason why they went this year, because they didn't do anything as, spe as spectacular as they did back in the day, right? You know, last year and the year before that. Like, they didn't do anything that big and that hype this year for some odd reason. So that's why Warner Brothers was able to swoop underneath and just be like, hey, Kong Skull Island, Fantastic Beasts, the Lego Batman, Wonder Woman, Justice League, like, they were able to drop all these things to beat out Marvel. So, unfortunately, Marvel did not win this year. Uh, and I know a lot of people are like, well, what about their new logos? Thor Ragnarok's logo looks like an arcade game. I'm not, like, that logo's horrible. I'm sorry, that's just the worst logo. And then, like, the others are okay, but it's like, no. They did have the new Mar uh, Marvel intro, that was pretty nice. Uh, but yeah. But anyway, we're talking too much about Marvel. Let's talk about Spider-Man Homecoming, the new concept art that was revealed. It was really great. Uh, I like that Michael Keaton is basically confirmed as the, jo uh, the Joker. <laughs> Can you imagine Michael Keaton as a Joker? I meant, sorry, as the, uh, Vulture. Uh, Michael Keaton has been confirmed as the Vulture, kind of. They didn't get to see too much of Michael Keaton's face. But he's basically the vulture. I mean, come on, really. Uh, he's got the huge talons, he's got the wings and everything. It just looks so cool. I'm loving it. And then, of course, Spider-Man pretty much looks the same, but he's also really cool. And then, of course, you gotta have that Tom Holland at Comic-Con, though. Uh, he, he's the, the whole eye candy. Although, you know, Zendaya's also that eye candy. So, eye candy for each, uh, I guess, gender. <laughs> each gender gets their eye candy. Uh, the ladies get Tom Holland and the guys get Zendaya. I guess. I don't know. You know, that's just a fun joke. But anyway... You gotta have them there. They were there. I think they did a panel, too. I'm not for sure. 
but I'm pretty sure they did the panel. I mean, why not, right? Uh, so we got, you know, the leading guy, Tom Holland, and then, of course, they confirmed uh, Flash Thompson. Is that one actor? I can't remember his name for sure. But they confirmed him. So all across the board was just confirmations uh, in the new concept art. But they revealed footage, a trailer of Spider-Man Homecoming. And Warner Brothers, when they did Justice League, they released Justice League to everybody, not just the people at Hall H. Because if you guys remember at the Justice League trailer, it says this footage was intended for Hall H people only, but they did release it to everybody, right? So, you know, Warner Brothers has that going for them. Spider-Man Homecoming didn't do that. Marvel didn't release it to everybody. And, like, same with Thor Ragnarok. They had a Thor Ragnarok trailer, didn't release it to anybody. It was, like, just Hall H people. And I was like, you know... We're pretty much past that. We're pretty much past having exclusive trailers. Some way or another, they get out. I mean, I don't think there's been any leaks yet, but, you know, who knows? There could be. Maybe, maybe someone's waiting to upload it or something. I don't know. But we're kind of past this. So I feel like, you know, whenever people go to Comic-Con, just release your trailers anyway. They're going to be out anyway in some time, so why not do it at Comic-Con when everyone's excited? I mean, you have YouTubers, like myself. You have people all over the world watching Comic-Con, so how, you know, what better exposure than to just release it there, right? I don't know. It just feels like that makes more sense than releasing it, like, five months after Comic-Con. <laughs> uh, that's just really a joke. But still, really. And it's like, come on. Like, you know, you could have swept the floor with Spider-Man home. Spider-Man alone is just such a big character right now. I mean, look what you did with his introduction with Civil War. It was so great. And then yet you don't release his trailer. I don't know. I just felt like that was disappointing. It was like... We got Brie Larson as Captain Marvel, and concept art, and, you know, a trailer for Doctor Strange. But out of the three, out of Thor, Spider-Man, and Doctor Strange, who would you choose? Honestly, I would choose Spider-Man over Doctor Strange any day of the week. So, unfortunately, we didn't get that Spider-Man trailer. Uh, hopefully, it comes sooner than later, um, I'm hoping, but for now... It's just ain't coming. But what do you guys think about the concept art? I like it. I think it looks really modernized for Vulture. Vulture looks really nice in it. Really, um, you know, obviously, like, they gotta, they gotta revamp all the comic book characters when they hit live-action movies, and this is a really good revamp. And I'm excited to see what Vulture can really do in this movie and how, how far Michael Keaton will play that role and what he'll do with it and how he'll twist it around and make it his role. Uh, and I'm excited to see how Tom Holland improves from Civil War to Spider-Man Homecoming. I'm so excited for Zendaya. I'm a huge Zendaya fan. I cannot wait for her in this movie. Uh, and I'm just excited for the, the big, diverse cast. This is probably the biggest, um, I guess probably the most diverse cast yet for a, a comic book movie. And I'm not just saying that. I mean, go look at the casting list. There's just, you know, tons down for, uh, you know, tons of uh, diverse people in this um uh, in this project. So I'm excited for it. I hope you guys are too. Uh, what do you guys think about the concept art? And did you feel like I needed to release that Spider-Man Homecoming trailer? So comment down below. Uh, and do you also think Warner Brothers won this year? Uh, also comment down below as well. So links up there to my other Comic-Con videos. Uh, this is the last one, of course. And links in there to my Twitter, Instagram, Vine, blog channel, and gaming channel. Uh, don't forget to like and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys later. See you next year for more Comic-Con coverage. Okay, bye!